This segment is sponsored by the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics. The Centers for Advanced Orthopedics is the leading provider of comprehensive musculoskeletal care in the region. And today we're talking about how technology can harm our hands, our elbows, and how we can better protect ourselves. We yes. all need it, right? We are joined uh -huh. by Dr. Noah Raisman, who is, the or who is an orthopedic surgeon. We're so happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, so much of us. We're on our iPads, our phones, our computers. <laughs> what are you seeing um, in terms of patients? Are you seeing kind of a rise in all of that? Carpal tunnel, everything like that? It's been for years. Mm -hmm. And I think as the size of iPhones and uh, you know tablet devices, they've gone from something that you're supposed to hold with two hands to something that you're still trying to hold with one hand, but they're getting bigger and bigger. It makes yeah. it harder and harder to hold. And as you kind of try to keep it in your hand and you're bending your wrist, oh. that tends to compress the median nerve in the hand. You get numbness and tingling. That's the classic carpal tunnel syndrome. But honestly, I think it, it's all about ergonomics. And with the pandemic, uh, a lot of people started working from home with really bad desk setups and it mm. all just snowballs and it starts with bad body position. Yes, yeah, so is that where we begin to fix this? How do we go about finding some sort of remedy <laughs> for it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, okay. first of all, people have bad habits and uh, one of those bad habits is sitting in bed with your uh, device, whatever it is, like yep. this. Is like hiding and right now. That doesn't only affect your wrists, it also affects your elbows. So uh, carpal tunnel, carpus is Latin for wrist, cubit is Latin for elbow. Carpal tunnel is a nerve compression syndrome in the wrist characterized by numbness and tingling in these fingers. Cubital tunnel is compression of the ulnar nerve as it comes around the inside of your elbow, your funny bone, um, that gets worse when your elbow is bent up like this. Uh. And so if you get numbness and tingling in the pinky or ring finger as you're holding stuff up to your head, um, or if you're leaning in when you have a little laptop screen on your dinner table mm -hmm. instead of having a really good desk set up, you're going to get that nerve compression and that's going to yeah. lead to symptoms. And the first thing to do is to listen to your body. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm feeling something different. What do I do about changing my position? You don't just shake it off and go exactly back to what <laughs> you're doing. I right. think that you can uh, start by getting your body up straight making sure that your monitor is at eye level so you're not coming in like this mm -hmm. and bending your elbows, craning your neck, um, having good arm support. I think the other thing that people don't realize is that most standard office equipment is designed for somebody between 5'5 five five and 5'8. Five and so if you're on the shorter side or the taller side, you may need to adjust or even get modular equipment. All of the, mm. you know, the nice Herman Miller the chairs, they yeah, come in yeah. three sizes. Most ah, office equipment that people don't realize, they just order the middle right? size, yeah. but you may need something more modular. And really yeah. having um, support of your forearms so that when you're hands are on your keyboard, mm -hmm. they're not coming up like this or mm -hmm. bent down like that, that's what's going to help prevent some of these symptoms. Yeah. Are there any exercises we can do while we're sitting there or at night to help strengthen? I think that it's not a strength issue. Okay. It's more of a body positioning. Gotcha. If mm -hmm. you have symptoms and you want to try to stretch it out, use putty for strengthening, you can do it, but it's not as effective as just being mindful mm -hmm. of your body position That's and what you're know. doing ergonomically. The mm -hmm. standard treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome before you get so severe that you need surgery is to just wear a wrist splint. And all it does is it keeps yeah. your wrists in this position, in a nice neutral position to keep this nerve from being compressed here or there. And you can get those at any uh, medical supply store, CVS, Walgreens. They're very easily available. You can get them on uh, Amazon. Any of them suffice. Okay. But I think that's really your first line, uh, other than thinking about body position. Right. Is there a moment when we say, wait, we need to come see you, come see a doctor, or somebody who it's, it's bad enough, I can't just order the wrist? I mean, I think race. people fool themselves. They're like, oh, yeah, I just get numbness and tingling. And <laughs> it, it'll sneak up on you. And you get to yeah. the point where it's numb and tingly intermittently, but then it goes to numb and tingly all the time, to then it's mm -hmm. so numb that you barely notice it because you don't feel anything. Eventually, 
the muscles in your hand are going to deteriorate. Mm. And once you get to that point, even if you do a surgical release, it's only 50-50 that it's going to come back. Wow. And so you want to try to get to it early. I would say for carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel, um, chronic tendonitis, the earlier you get to it and get on the right track, the mm. more uh, reliable treatment gotcha. is and mm -hmm. you might be able to nip it in the bud without surgery so I would okay. say come in and see a, a hand <laughs> surgeon yeah. earlier rather than later and don't sit on yeah. it right you don't want it to get any worse thank you so much for being thank here you, this Dr. has been eye-opening for everyone I know everyone would like more information so you can get more information or make an appointment by going to cfaortho.com